What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Yamo from The Common Hype. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. This is our store located here in Tempe, Arizona. And by the title of this video, we have a lot of cool grays, a whole lot of them. None of them that you see right now, we actually just took a picture. We actually took them to the back. Messed up, okay? But regardless, this video is loaded with a ton of value, so be sure to stay throughout the whole video. We have a bunch of unboxings, and then we're gonna talk about our cool gray investment that we personally made here at Common Hype. Make sure to like this video, comment down below, because we respond to every single comment, and we cash up one of you guys randomly $25, as well as subscribe to the channel if you have not already. We're on the road to 250,000 subscribers, and we just hit 140. So thank you guys so much for the support. We're gonna get into these unboxings and the cool grays later, but first, is where we leave it. got a bunch of boxes right here got to fit checking real quick because it's been long awaited we'll start it down at the piggies today nate we got the cool gray jordan 11s on you guys have been waiting for me to bust out i'm gonna go take some fit pics um because you guys have been begging me on the instagram i posted a picture like a couple days ago and you guys were not happy in the comments you want the cool gray fit pics so that's going to be the next one probably be up by the time this video is up so make sure you show some love on instagram you guys tormented me for a couple days about it but yeah i got the cool grays on the off-white nike shorts and then the cactus plant flea market gray mess racing jersey um, i think is what it's called it's got the glow of the league on the back so this is just a simple fit i decided to do a couple of them because i know everyone's fashion is different this is more like a brandon fit you know like casual vibe short shorts little baggy tee um, and then i have another fit in the car so should have a good amount of shoes in today it is monday so you guys know we get most of our packages here on Monday. If you guys would like to sell to us, go down to the pinned comment down in the description. It's a link to our Discord where you guys can sell all of your inventory to us. So it looks like we got a PO right here for the first one. What's up, Common Hype? Love the videos. Thanks for the business. Coming from South Alabama. And it looks like we got a pair of lows or mids right here. The light smoke gray mids right here. Looks like we got a women's size nine. You guys know we've been buying those up pretty heavy. They move well for us. So uh, we appreciate that deal right there. We got a bigger one right here. This one might have a couple pairs in it. It absolutely does. You guys know we talked about this shoe in our last video and we talked about how they do grade school sizes so we have two grade school pairs of the jordan one patent breads right here if you guys want our investment advice go check out what me and johnson talked about in the last video you guys seem to have really loved it and there is a note down here let's see if it's got anything written on it thanks for the biz been watching since summer you guys kill it shout out to bribe for easily the best trip happy new year's Thank he you really much. That. Yeah. Oh, he did. I didn't <laughs> just say it. All right. It's right here. I'm going to do one more box and then a the couple bags that we have right here. And then we're going to pass it on to Nate. All right. Everything oh, get boy. warmed up. Looks like we've got a PO and as well as a note made a deal with Yama on Discord, size 11 and a half W. Atmosphere Jordan 1. Pleasure doing business with you again. Shake my hand. I absolutely will. But like the note said, looks like we got a pair of the Atmosphere Jordan 1s. You guys know this is a women's shoe. Kind of patent, kind of not. It's a really good shoe. Looks like a men's size 10. I don't have a pair. This is my size. Do I need one? I don't know. You're going to have to let me know in the comments. Oh my gosh. It's from the boys at Bound by Soul. You guys know it's a holiday every time that we get a package from them. Um, this is one of the black hoodies. I'm not going to take it out of the bag because this is for the buddy Steven. So we're going to leave that how it is. But we appreciate it. You guys know. Boys at Bound by Soul have been dropping some heat. Also going to take some fit picks in that new hoodie today. So make sure you stay tuned on my IG. And we're going to leave the rest of the boxes for Nate. You ready to go? Oh, I'm ready. Yeah, st All maybe right. maybe stretch, clear your throat. <laughs> yeah. First box, black and white hives. Some pandas. Fire. Honestly, I'm not sure why we stopped buying these. I know they didn't move too well, but it's a black and white dunk. Another black and white hive. Assuming this is the third black and white hive. Yep, there it is. And then there's a Jordan 1 box in here. It looks like a GS pair. Little Ooh, starfish, GS. maybe? Starfish, GS. Wow. Bean machine. What's good, everybody? You know, I'm doing my thing, dropping everything like per usual. Uh huh. Wow. We got our KO pinks. Could have guessed it. What do you think these are? More of them. Yep. Wow. Another one. All right. Hey. Yeah, we're buying. Yeah, those are nice. Yeah. If you guys don't know. We might be invested. In <laughs> yeah. One more. Wow. All right. Assuming these are starfishes, if I'm not wrong. Oh, wow. I am. Wow. All right. And then we oh, got a, another one. Wow. That's for What's Big this? Steve. Wow. Steve, you're a lucky man. Yeah. That's, that's that stuff right there. Yeah, Shout you heard him. Soul. You heard him. Come on, B. Give him some, give him some side comments here. Give him some backup. Nate, uh, what do you think this pair is going to be right here? 
What do you think? Um, well, I see a black box, so I'm gonna. Go I actually don't know. I'm gonna go bread, bread toe one low. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Jordan Four golf shoe. Jordan wow, four golf. You know, just red golf. Like, if you guys are watching yeah. today's video, or if you have watched today's video, I'm sorry. Johnson talked a little bit about golf shoes. Okay, you know, it's it's, it's, it's nice here. Oh, it's not either. It's not either. What? No. Wow, a little Grinch maybe. Okay. Hold on, what size? Eight and a half for Brandon's wow. toe. Wow, That's for Drew so maybe? <laughs> oh boy, clear your throat for this one. Oh my goodness. That's <laughs> That's so <laughs> <awesome>. <laughs> oh no. Shake everyone's hand, especially Bryson, for who has the best fits, All of course. Right. That's the first thing that it says. <laughs> this is the first of many. You've been watching your content since SneakerCon Denver. Amazing content and great advice from you and Johnson. For that, I sent the Kobe uh, Grinch sixes. I sold my, wait, what? No. <laughs> One sec, boys. <laughs> this, this Just so running? everyone knows, none of us went to school. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we all forgot how to. We read. all dropped out. <laughs> okay, so give me a sec. All right. As most know, I sold my whole 250 pair Kobe collection to raise money for my mom's ovary cancer surgery back in 2014, and I'm working hard to get back at it again. This handwriting. I'm sorry. It's. it's it. I'm sure it's a handwriting, Nate. <laughs> Next time, type it. Next yeah. time, type it. All right, guys. Hey, we believe you. Hey, Nate knows hey, how plus, to read. Steve. Good presentation. Blessings from, how do you say, I don't know how to say that. Couldn't tell you either. Okay, <laughs> well, it's not, and then maybe it's not me, all right? Yeah. All right, sweet, awesome. Well, we do appreciate you, like you said, the last of your Grinch inventory, and we know how you cherish your collection, so we appreciate you choosing us to be the ones you sold it to. It's very sweet, Bean. Yeah, you're all Very nice. Hey. Shake it for you, all right. That's a, man, that's a man's man right there. You yeah. sell your shoes for your mother, that's a man move right there. Looks like Those are gigantic. In a size 16. Yeah. <laughs> It might actually be some giant ochres. Wow, I'm gonna put those on the toe for you guys. Yeah, and then a uh, size 13 vermilion. Oh, nope, another ochre. Ochre as well. Sweet. Well, that wraps it up for the unboxings, boys. Thanks for coming, Nate. Yeah, I'm glad I could uh, unbox for you guys. <laughs> yeah, and read, <laughs> attempt to read. <laughs> All right, boys, big unboxings today. I know you guys love to see the unboxing, so here we go again. John, scoot a little closer. Yep, come, come on. Yeah, there you go. There you go. John's behind the camera. He's new. Give him a break if the, if the mic's all shaky or if he's breathing, you know, heavily into the mic. We've got Nate in the shop here. Mr. Mr. Nate himself with legit checking. So we'll give you guys another legit checking segment, huh, Nate? We did dunks last time. Maybe we'll do something different this time. My homie Vic sent me a big pack and it's a fat pack of pandas. Um, so we got a bunch of stuff from Vic. I'm gonna put this down because this box is entirely all black and white dunks. If you guys are new to the channel and you're wondering why we do so many unboxings, it's because we have a Discord server filled with all of our sellers that sell to us. All you gotta do to become a part of that is hit the pin comment down in this video and uh, you can join the server. You can sell your shoes to us. Once they arrive to us, they get unboxed. Most of the time on camera, sometimes they don't, but uh, majority of the time they get unboxed on camera. You leave a note with your purchase order and uh, we get you paid out right after. So this one's got a note on it. it said, love the videos, comment hype. Hope to see you guys in any sneaker events in Jersey this year. We will be in Jersey for God's soul, I believe. We have a Jordan 1 bubble gum in a size 11W, my size, Nate. Wow. I know you've been talking about that. Yeah, you said you were gonna tell him. I did, yeah, <laughs> I've, uh, I've been debating you. Nate, why don't we uh, roll the segment? Nate's gonna teach you guys how to legit check a Jordan 1. Speaking of legit checking, quick story. We had a guy come in yesterday. He's been buying shoes from this guy for two years, okay, for him and his girl. It's unfortunate, but he found out yesterday that all the shoes that he's been buying from his plug are fake, and I had to tell him that. Quite unfortunate. How do you take it? <laughs> he was honestly pretty chill, but he was definitely upset. He was texting the guy on the phone with the guy out front for like a couple hours. He was here for a while, bro. Um, and it's funny because apparently the guy lives in Chicago and he sells to a bunch of people out there. So we'll see what happens. I don't know. They're Hopefully all he gets fake. his money back. All fake. Yeah, he probably has 100 pairs of shoes from that guy. All fake, and he paid resale value. Like he paid like what they're worth. At the oh. Time. So I feel bad for that guy. I was hurting for him. Um, Does he watch the channel? Uh, I don't know. Um, Maybe just some guy who came in. Yeah, I mean, I know if he, he if he can't he comes back in today, we'll we'll talk to him. Maybe get him on the YouTube. I know he, was, he would be, definitely be chill about it because um, he was pretty chill about the whole thing. Surprisingly, but um, it's quite unfortunate. You hate to yeah, see it. Yeah, hate to yeah. see it. All right. Um, well, anyway, um, let's teach the viewers these? how to legit check so they don't, uh, you know. Get got me. Basically, the best ways to check are always the Jumpman logo, the stitching on the insole, the stars, the font on the Nike, the lace bags are always a good way to check, the Nike on the insole, the insole tag. You always want to look for on this that it says die cut sock liner. A lot of the fakes don't have it. However, if the shoe was after made around like 2016, then they wouldn't say that anyway. Um, that's always one thing to check. And then under the insole, 
You want to make sure you see these lines going across. You always want to look at the insole stitching. You want to see that it's taped down. I can't really give you guys an example of like a fake looks like, but those are the main things to look at um, when you are looking at authentic and and fake pairs. We the also, last thing is always the box. Yeah, the box lid should always have that um, stamp in it. Um, a lot of the new pairs too have the green quality control sticker, but uh, it doesn't have that. Some pairs don't have it, but if they do have it, it'll it'll be on the side of the box and it'll have little invisible lines going through it. And then you always grab a black light Y Nate. The main thing with the black light is certain stitching is not supposed to glow. Um, it's different for every pair, unfortunately. It is supposed to glow here. If it's not glowing here, that's usually a bad sign. The sole is glowing here. And like I said, it's different with every pair, so you kinda gotta learn the pairs. And then the last thing is, fakes will have little um, pen marks going across where they're supposed to be stitched at. So you see any sort of pen marks with the black light, that's not a good sign. Legit checking with Nate. Shout out to the homie Trenton. We got a pair of patent breads and a six and a half Y right here. Nate, check those out. Thank you to him for sending it. Next up, we have a big box right here. This is from John. Not you, John, another John. Got some Georgetown dunks. Grade school Georgetowns and a seven Y right here. Oh, more, more Georgetowns. This actually might be the seller uh, that Bo linked me to, um, which I think it is for the most part. So we have Six, seven pairs of Georgetowns in that box. If I'm right, these are going to be uh, Fire Red 4s, and it should be, what was the other? Oreo 4s, I think? Look at that. Fire Red 4s, and then an entire pack of Oreo 4s in this box. John, show them the box so they don't think I'm lying. There it is. Um, so we're gonna check out every single one of these pairs. Um, shout out to the guy who sent us those. It was basically a full size run of Fire Reds and Oreo Force. And yet we have another pair of Bubblegum Ones. Excellent packaging from this guy. He left us a note that says, yo, thanks for making this deal with me. Awesome doing business with y'all. Love the work you guys have been putting on on YouTube. Thank you very much. How can you purchase something that you see on these unboxings? CommonHypeAZ.com, 25.8. You guys can shop online. Um, all of our merch is on there. Everything that you guys see in store for the most part is on the website as well. So if you guys are interested in purchasing anything, CommonHypeAZ.com. We have a big purchase order from Jacob. A full pack of Goldenrod Dunks, sizes seven and a half through eight and a half. One of the boxes got destroyed in shipping. He held the word with me, but an entire, um, half size run of goldenrod dunks as well. That's gonna wrap up today's unboxings because this one underneath is Vix as well, and those are more black and white dunks. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed that. So, right behind me, we have five big boxes, and they're all loaded with cool grays. Now, as you guys know, we're growing out of our store. We don't really have a lot of space in our store anymore, so we're taking these over to our temporary warehouse that we have. Um, but I did want to go over a few things that I was particularly um, doing here at Common Hype just because we bought about 100, 120 ish pairs of cool grays, which is a lot. Um, and for a store that doesn't move a lot of retros, um, it could be a lot of pairs. This video is titled Our $50,000 Cool Gray Investment or whatever it is. But I did want to let you guys know that we're not actually planning on holding these. If you guys are new to the channel, you guys know that we do a lot of investment advice here. And if you're a current OG, you're probably looking at this like, oh wow, he bought a bunch of cool grays. I should probably buy a, cool, a lot of cool grays as well. But in this scenario, this is not the case. Cool grays are a great shoe, don't get me wrong. But with over a million pairs of these that are out there, especially with more restocks and stuff that are rumored to be happening, um, this is a shoe that's probably gonna stay stagnant at the prices that they're currently at. We saw eight through 10 was really about 300 for a while with sizes 10 and a half through 13 being like the moon sizes from anywhere from 340 to 380 um, on apps. And now we've seen with the big restock that sizes eight through 10 are now like 260, 270 ish on apps and big sizes have really kept the price. The question you guys may be asking as a viewer is like, why did I buy so many? Um, the reason is because not only is this a top selling shoe across all apps, uh, it's a Jordan 11. And we've seen with previous Jordan 11s, the Bread 11s, the Jubilee 11s, and now the Cool Gray 11s, which the Cool Gray 11s, I believe, besides the Bread 11, has the most historic value attached to them, which means this is basically a recession proof shoe is what I like to call it. Meaning no matter what happens with the market, these are always gonna be selling because people really enjoy a Jordan 11, especially in a colorway like the Cool Gray 11. So my personal philosophy is what I'm doing with this is I'm just gonna be continuing to sell all 
120 pairs um, as quickly as possible through uh, my avenues of bulk selling, through the store avenue of selling, um, through our eBay store, through our online website. Whatever avenues I can sell them, I'm always going to sell them through. And I think that's something where we get caught up and it's like, okay, you see a big, big investment, you just want to throw it in to a storage unit and just forget about it and come back a year later and just look at it. But in this case, it's like cool grays are already so high, especially the bigger sizes. Like, yes, we know they're going to increase in value and they're going to be a 450 to $500 shoe in the future, but it's like, how long is that going to take? One of my favorite sayings is a quick 50 is better than a long hundred. Meaning if I can flip this shoe and make 50 bucks on it and I can continue to do that on each and every single pair that I buy, then it's so much better than actually just storing it in a storage unit and making a hundred dollars over, you know, let's just say 12 months. So um, that's always been my philosophy because you can make more quickly selling rather than just putting it in a storage unit and it not making you a lot of value just because you can quick flip it and do the same thing rather than just holding it. So that's my little spiel about Cool Grays. Um, if you guys like any of the advice or if you agree with me, disagree with me, drop a comment down below. Remember, we respond to every single comment and we cash up someone randomly $25. Um, if you enjoyed the advice and you're not subscribed to the channel already, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 300,000 subscribers. And if you're new to the channel, this is what we do. Um, we kind of teach you guys about our reselling journey and what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. Thank you guys as always for tuning into these videos. Uh, we really appreciate all the support and we'll see you guys in the next video.